Dave Florence from the California Type Foundry, and we are going to make our N. So um, this, you know, whichever letter you usually uh, you like to start with, uh, an N is a good one. That sets your straight uh, sort of widths and weights and everything. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is, before we actually get started with looking at any tools, I want to just uh, get our stems just the right uh, width. So uh, when you are doing a sans uh, font, a grotesque is going to have uh, anywhere from about 80 to 95, uh, 95 being the sort of darker, uh, almost medium looking Roman. So let's choose something in the 70s. So maybe we're going to choose for our font, we're going to choose a 70 or 75. I think I'm going to use 75 so that way it still looks a little bit uh, Roman, but not uh, not too light. Okay, so how you do that is up here is your info panel. This has, and there's a lot of things inside here, but all we're going to do is really just look at the uh, stems. So go here and click on stems, and then we're going to change this to our number, and this you're going to have to put in on your own, and I call that a LC uh, stem, and sometimes I put a V in there to let me know uh, actually, it would be the um, the horizontal. But anyway, let's just put the LC uh, stem. And then we're going to change that to 75. Okay. And that has to be in here in the vertical because that's going to be the width of your, your stem. Okay. So now, in order just to create one, you just double click. And then double click again, and that brings you inside here. So we're going to use, there's a lot of tools to use. We're going to start with rapid number five. So this one is what I like to use. I've never gotten really good at the Bezier, the regular pen tool. But if you're great with the regular pen tool, then that's, that's great. You can use that. Okay, so go over here to the baseline and then uh, make your first click. And the way that you want to think about this is, think, okay, so... Um, if you are experienced with fonts, just bear with me for a moment. I'm going to just explain. Uh, if you're new to fonts, then not only are you making the drawing of how everything looks, there's also how the computer reads the font. And when it is, um, the usual types are going to be the OTFs, OTF type of fonts, and that's going to be going in the counterclockwise direction. So I was trying to think of an analogy of what is the easiest way to think of this, of which direction to go when you're drawing. And the, the best thing I could think about was it's sort of actually the, the way that a, um, that a toilet flushes. So, so if you just think, go with the flow, go with the flow, and that can help you remember what direction to go. So it is going to be in the counterclockwise direction, okay? So you can start here at 40, and then um, we, we're going to go over here to, uh, well, we're going to just go as best we can. And you see what I'm doing is I'm holding down shift, and that is making it, okay, so that would be our actual stem. So we might put that down here, uh, connect it. Now we're off here. So we're just going to adjust it, sh holding down shift and moving it right or left. That's going to move it by 10, okay? And then just using your arrow, so I use my arrow keys and I hold down shift and then I can move it by, by 10. Okay, so there we go. We have the first part of the N. Now, when we're going to draw the other part, we're still going to go in that same direction. Uh, let me go back to the pen tool. So what I did is I went to A to then highlight this to then move around. Okay, so now with the pen tool, we are going to, so this is just up to you of, of how you want to make it look. I want to have it um, go a little bit far down, and then I'm going to click this and counterclockwise again, going in that counterclockwise direction. Okay, so click here. And so I'm going to hold down control, and when I hold down control on Mac, <clears throat> that's going to change this C from a square to a round. So that's going to allow me to make it. Now, um, to get the other side, I want to change it back to a square, 
And then I want to hold down shift again, because that's going to get me back to the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to bring this over here. I'm not good. Okay, so that's helping me to figure out. And that's why we put the stems in. See, when we put the stems in the font info, it's giving us this green thing here, which I'm just going to make it erase. And that green thing is telling us, okay, if you put it to here, you're going to get your stem. And so that's why we have it. So now I'm going to keep holding shift because I want everything to be straight. And if I want, I can put this directly across from him. Sometimes it's a little bit higher up on these sort of fonts that we're making. And now I'm going to hold down control to make it round again. And what we want to do is we don't want to put it down here with the at the actual X height of 500. We want to bring it up a little bit, uh, maybe 15 over. That's a usual sort of amount. And then I'm going to change it to a square and put it in there and then connect it. And then we're connected there. Okay, now these are looking crooked. So I don't want those to be crooked. I'm going to double click on each of those and it's going to change it into a triangle. And now that it's a triangle, it's going to be uh, like this. Now things are looking pretty uneven just because of how I drew it. Um, I do a lot of tweaking after. So I'm going to show you in the next, so we have, but we do have our basic N. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how do I tweak this and make it look good because we're a little bit clumpy right now. See, we're a little bit, it's, it's not too bad, but we are a little bit clumpy. And I may not want, I might want this to look differently. So I'm going to change that here. And in order to get it to show black like that, I just hold down the tilde or the, um, the grav key next to the one on the keyboard. And then that's going to show the, how it looks dark. Okay, so the next video, we're going to show you just how to do some basic uh, fixing up stuff. Okay, see you in the next video.